Good day. Today we're going to take a quick look at how to create attributes with blocks and how to do data extraction. So I've created a couple of drawings. I've created an, a set of attributes already on one of the objects and we're ready to create a W block. Well, as you can see, I'm not under the Home tab anymore. I'm under the Insert tab. And under the Insert tab, there is an option to create a block or create a write block. And the goal is that we're going to create a write block and save it out as a separate drawing. When we choose the write block option that's going to allow us to select the objects, we don't want to select the entire drawing and we don't have any existing blocks to select from. So we're going to pick a base point, select objects, right mouse click, and then at this point I need to give the, the block a new name. So I'm going to go ahead and call this block 1. And I can retain this block, I can convert it, or I can retain the drawing, I can convert it to a block which basically takes all the individual lines and creates as a single object or I can delete it from the drawing. To keep it simple I'm going to go ahead and just delete it from the drawing and as you can see there's 12 entities that will get deleted the ones that I selected. Little window flashed up that basically takes a picture of the object uh, for the reinsertion uh, process. So in this case we're going to have to create a couple of attributes and then we'll create a second write block. Well everything can be done here under that insert tab. You can also find many of the basic block options under the home tab and so you can choose the define attributes directly from the home tab in the home ribbon uh, and associate, it, associate that object. So we're going to set up two uh, attributes. And so the idea is that the attribute is basically a database storage and we're going to call it cost. I did a cost on the other one. What is the cost is the prompt. It's always in the form of a question and the default is five dollars. And we're going to go ahead and choose OK and place it next to the object. We'll define a second attribute and again under the home tab the first button here is define an attribute and the second one is manufacture which is MFG uh, who makes it is the prompt and in this case we'll say Sears. Now one of the cool things is, is that if I've got an attribute already created I can align below the current attribute so I don't have to pick a new point it just lines it up right below it and there we have our two attributes cost and manufacturing and so those tags are storage spots inside the AutoCAD system. We'll select the insert and we'll go back to the right block button and we'll create a brand new block. The base point I'll pick as the center of the circle. The objects are going to be windowed around and we'll call this block number two. And I better put a slash in here or it will not be happy. Now the last thing that I wanted to mention is the insertion units. If you work between different types of units, using the insert units is important. If you work between millimeters and inches, um, if you've created an object in inches and you bring it into a drawing that is based in millimeters, remember the units command has that setting that will automatically scale the object for that, ob for that drawing size. So that is an important tool as you continue to build your AutoCAD skills. All right, so both of them went away. We're going to go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to basically create a brand new drawing. So we're going to hit the uh, plus drawing here. And we're going to bring in the blocks, otherwise known as inserting them. So I wanted to make sure that there was no relationship. So we're going to go ahead and 
close drawing one which is where we created the blocks uh, nope we're not going to save any changes and so drawing two is where we're currently working and so under the insert tab or the insert ribbon uh, selection here there is an insert button which allows us to insert objects and when we insert objects it asks us do we want to insert recent blocks our favorite blocks or blocks from a library and we can create libraries of objects that we work with I'm going to choose recent blocks and it knows that I've created in this session blocks block one and block two um, blocks are only available across storage if you selected cloud storage so I'm don't have any cloud storage currently set up this is all local and so that is the case and so the options when I want to insert this and this is a drag and drop block um, box is the insertion point is going to be set the scale is going to be one to one and uh, no other items so the insertion point is flexible but if I needed to have the scaling flexible or anything, I could increase the check mark here or make a check mark and it will allow me to change that scale factor. So I'm going to go ahead and insert block one and block two into drawing number two. And so block one comes in and then block two will come in. But notice this time, instead of having the cost in the MFG for manufacturer, we now see the values that were the default values of those attributes. And that's an important part. That means that the attributes were created correctly, and uh, since they're visible, we can extract them. So data extraction is where we use the uh, ability to create an Excel spreadsheet from our drawing. So we choose data extraction so we're going to use the data extraction tool so we'll select data extraction and you need to save your work before you get started um, we're going to create a new data extraction set we'll hit next and it's going to ask us to give it a name so we'll just call this block one and we're not going to do everything so let's go ahead instead of the whole drawing we're going to select our objects and there's a select objects button so we're going to go ahead and window around our objects that we're going to extract the data from and we'll hit next so at this point it gives us all the entities that we selected and so what I'm actually working with is the attribute definitions so I don't necessarily need the circle lines and polylines or even the blocks I just need to get the attribute definitions extracted we'll hit next and now it asks us well what do we really need so here's the cool thing over on the right hand side we've got a category filter and we're going to go ahead and select and uncheck all these options um, that we're working with except 3d visualization drawing general and you can see what happens here is that it, it continues to whittle this down um, as our options and so what we're looking for are the tag the value um, associated with it and I believe those fall either under geometry or excuse me under miscellaneous or text and so those are considered text items and so if you uncheck everything except for text now we can uncheck everything except for our tag and value because that's what we want to extract is just the tag and the value from the attribute now we have the attribute definitions it shows us what they are we can sort the columns and control the the setup we'll hit the next we're gonna export it as an XLS file it'll be called drawing2.xls um, 
and that is the key because the XLS file is an Excel spreadsheet file. And we'll hit finish. So the XLS file um, is now created and it'll open up here. It says that it was successfully created. And I'll go and open it up here in just a second so you can see it. But that is the process of creating the data extraction. I know it's a little um, touchy at points and there's a lot of check marks that you have to uncheck. But the goal is, is that the attribute tags and values are what you're actually extracting. So here's the Excel S spreadsheet that opens up. And so it shows you that there's an attribute definition, the tag, and the cost. And we could actually do summation reports if we wanted it to sum up all the costs that tells us the count or quantity. If we had multiple uh, instances of it, it would add the values. So this now becomes an actual tool that you can extract information out of the drawing to be used for additional decision making. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.